tonight, the defenders go undercover. Now off the top here at 5.30, Cartier bu white buffalo sunglasses are mentioned in mm -hmm. rap songs, often referenced as a status symbol unique to Detroit. And many may consider the price tag of more than $2,500 to be frivolous, with others saying the Cartier buffs represent success. But they are a mainstay of Detroit culture, and as we discover, the price is not paid only in dollars. Sometimes these glasses can cost you your life. It was supposed to be a quick stop at this Detroit Valero gas station, but it turned out to be the place where 18-year-old Lateo Garrett's life ended. Police say a man tried to grab Garrett's glasses. Garrett stepped back. That's when the suspect shot him. Back in 2016, it was a peace rally in Detroit that turned violent all over Cartier sunglasses. He snatched his glasses off his face right in front of us and tried to run. Ooh, he went after him. He pulled out a big old 40, a, a big 40 Glock. Members of the peace rally chased the gunman. Got this Cartier's, right? Put some Cartier's. Yeah, go Got the glasses back and grabbed his gun until police arrived. So is there a connection between Cartier sunglasses and crime? Detroit police will tell you it's simply a crime of opportunity and the glasses don't cause the crime. Others will tell you it is risky to wear the sunglasses. Take a look at what the crime stats show. According to the Detroit Police Department, between 2012 and 2016, Cartier glasses figured in nine homicides and 17 non-fatal shootings. If you look at recent years, I looked at the data from 2017 to present, uh, we had a couple crimes connected to uh, the theft of Cartier glasses, but we did have a homicide. If you looked at the newer statistics that I have from 2017 to 2019, we're showing actually 19 robberies surrounding Cartier glasses. Deputy Chief Wilson says there has been a reduction of Cartier-related crime, but that's a tough statement for Lateo Garrett's family to believe in, as it was just six months ago he was murdered because of those glasses. Do you have like Cartier? Oh, yeah. A local Ford Defender producer visited some local pawn shops, shopping for Cartier glasses for a gift. Do you think it's dangerous that I give him this? Where do you guys live? I mean, we don't live in Detroit, but we both were in Detroit all the time. New York. No, I... You won't worry? There you go. So, if this fashion piece is such a risk to wear, why do it? Well, it's because that emotional attachment is there. So the rational mind might say, oh, this is unsafe, or oh, I can't afford it, or maybe I should invest this money. But the emotional mind is saying, you deserve it. It's the status quo. This is something that Detroit is known for. Why not purchase? And then the emotional mind usually wins. As the counselor explains, sometimes it's all about pride. People value feeling appreciated and belonging to a culture also that is part of the city. Sometimes the cost of pride is more than anyone ever expected to pay. Now Detroit police telling us robbery is a crime of opportunity, so there's always an opportunity at any time that someone is wearing something of high value. And it is important to mention this is a Detroit issue. It really it issue. seems to be specific. To, I mean, because Well, think many this is rappers anywhere, obviously right? seeing about this, right, and right. we did reach out to many who said, I like the glasses. I know they're dangerous. I don't want to go on camera. I don't want to talk about it. Three yeah. people canceled interviews on this. So it was really interesting. Yeah, like they is. still defended it, but they also didn't want to talk about it. A little hot to touch. Yeah. Yep.